it is. Well, okay, we don't know what it is. That was kind of like, oh my god, what is it going to be? And then I kind of just like lifted a cool finger. Let's find out what it's going to be. This is the most epic boss fight in Zelda history. This is Gots or Goat. Goat. Call him Goat, okay? Don't let NCS rub his little terms off you. It's Goat, okay? It's not Got, whatever he called it in his LP like four years ago. It's Goat. It's Goat, okay? It's, it's Goat. I'm not even gonna. Okay. <laughs> Just shut up. Okay, this thing is Goat, and we're gonna destroy it. We're gonna. Kill its brains out. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Kill its brains out. Because that made sense, of course. Watch out for his moves. He's got a ton of stuff that can just leave a hurt. Leave a hurt on you. As Super Skarmory would say. Leave a hurt. I think that he said that in his like Pokemon LPs. <laughs> and uh Yeah, this this thing's uh it's, it's a beast. You know, but we we're, we're beast beastlier. And we can destroy it. So just do this to inflict like maximum damage. And yeah, if you're lucky, you can like get get um, Goron Link's like get him like stuck in the head of the of the monster. If that makes sense, then kind of like just sit there and then do a bunch of damage. And uh, yeah, I think that's like the way to do maximum damage. I'm destroying this guy, you know. Ooh, right in the crotch, right in the crotch. I don't know how much life this guy has left, to be honest. It, it only gets tougher though from here on out. Like he like starts dropping. Oh my god, I got him. Oh, whoa, how how did he fall? <laughs> That's very weird, okay. Well, I, I don't know. I don't really understand that, but anyways. That's that's not uh that's not why you called. Um so we're gonna do it why are you on the wall? Get off the wall, you weirdo. Okay. We're just gonna keep hitting this guy. He's gonna be dead like in seconds, you know that, right? He's like I'm destroying him. This dude's got nothing on me. Absolutely nothing. Okay. And if he gets too far ahead, he's gonna like turn around and like start shooting electricity at you. Oh my god, and then he's got the bombs are so annoying. I don't know how this thing has bombs. Or like how they so how the they sold a bomb bag to this guy. Oh god, oh god, okay, good. Like imagine this guy walking into the bomb shop buying a bomb bag. Just in preparation for when the big Goron is going to come and try to kill him. Okay, come on. He gets like faster too and then it's hard to catch up. Oh, I think this is it. This is the final blow. BAM! He got punched for the final blow too. Yeah, go back to where you belong. In hell. Heh <laughs> Dead. He turns into a pile of shit apparently. Which is kind of odd. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll just go. Before you go into the little void, don't forget to collect your heart piece. Or piece of heart. Heart container, that's what it's called. That gives us 10 heart containers, which is like half of the total number in the game, which is crazy. But we still got a ton more to get, so yeah, we're not even close to done. You've seized, you've, you've seized goat's remains. There we go. You have just freed the innocent spirit. That blah blah blah. Okay. So basically, there's the remains of the beast itself. And yeah. After you've done that, this little scene is gonna appear. The same thing that happened uh, in the last temple we we beat. What exactly are all of you? Guardians... Guardians? Interesting. So you're protective gods. That's why you're in the temples. But why are you... Why are the... Okay, the... Dude, just shut up. You can't talk. You don't know English, you dumb. No, wait, are you listening to me? Hey, wait. Well, that's rude. You ask a question, you don't get an answer, and then they just walk away. You know, that that's, that's, that's the kind of people I just don't like. And we have killed God, which... Well, why do I call him God? It's Goat. I don't... It's, NCS is rubbed off. That's what happened. Um, 
So yeah, we killed Goat, and doing that will free the innocent spirit of whatever Goat's remains, and um, thus making it springtime in the village, which is really cool. I love it when it's spring here. It's so, it's just amazing. I love how they added that. That's really cool. And yeah. Awesome. So after you've done that, Link is going to get teleported outside the temple again, back to the this little sorry excuse for a village, which is now all spring. It, it, it's just, I don't even know. It's awesome. Um, so, yeah, I guess first order of business is uh, turn in our stray fairies, because um, honestly... I, I would have forgot, and I don't want to forget that, that thing, you know, because that's, that's kind of important, and um, I don't want to have to do it all over again, you know, because honestly, that's happened to me, all of the, happens to me all the time, and let's not let it happen in this LP, so yeah. And you can, you actually turn in the Stray Fairies, like, um, oh yeah, this, let's do that, let's um, go over this first. Here's the Goron that you uh, knocked off the edge with your music. What in the world have I been doing this whole time? Dude, you were asleep. You fell off the edge. How did he get up there anyways? He was, he was way down there and he climbed up. That's impressive. Can, he probably gets all the Goron bitches. Okay, no, you've learned your lesson about doing that. Rolling on the platform, dude. Only do it when it's a straight path. It's just too risky. And um, somewhere along here is the... Uh, here it is. Here's the place to turn in the straight fairies. Again, don't forget to do that. Extremely important there. The upgrade, this is probably the best upgrade. It's probably the most worth it upgrade. In fact, it's probably the only one that's worth it. If you're going to get any of the stray fairies in any temple, let it be this temple. Because this upgrade is the best one you will get. I mean, the other ones, like the last two upgrades we get... They really aren't worth it. Like, the third one's okay, the fourth one's really bad, it's not even worth getting. But this one, you get double magic. Which is awesome. Very helpful. So yeah, again, make sure you remember to do that. And yeah. Okay, see ya. See you in the flip side. I don't even know what that term means, but I want to see if it means something along the lines of, um, see you later or something like that. Who cares? Okay, so now we have this little little thing we're going to do. We're going to start wor working our way towards the, uh, getting the upgraded sword in this game. Because you do not want to stick with this little Kokiri knife you got currently. Because it's not, it's not an ideal sword for the rest of the game. We want something better. We want, um... Power, speed, you know, length, well, length, that doesn't really make sense, but all that good stuff. We want st a stronger sword in general. And, um, how else would you do that? By going into this little door here that we've never been able to access. Um, you want to talk to the big guy up here, and he's going to be like, Oh, you good, good, you're a customer. Gabora, fetch, us, fetch our customers from top. Gabora, like, Kapora, Gabora. Only, like, not an owl. Alright, you need your co- Oh, 100 rupees. Oh, well, that's great. We don't have that. Well, okay. I know of where we can get, like, 40 rupees. So, uh, it's okay. Well, we can get one red rupee, I know, by going under here. Punching out these. Dude, I let, let the camera angle be in a position I can actually see it, maybe? You know, that, that'd be nice. There. There's, you can also get a red rupee, like, somewhere in there. Like, you can see it there, on the mini-map, you can see, like, a chest icon. Yeah, you can get oh, you can get one in there, but, um, we're, we're not gonna do that. Because we don't need it. Whoops. You got to turn into a human. That was a mistake. Okay, talk to the third time, because we keep messing this up. It'll cost you 100 rupees. Yes, I know that. Okay, it'll just says, okay. So what he's saying is after you after you do this, it'll go back to the normal form, like 
after you, you hit something a hundred times, which is not what we want, but um, it's okay because there there is something we can do to make it so that it never goes back to its original form, and it's even stronger at the same time. So I don't know about you, but that seems that seems like a good deal to me. And good deals don't go unnoticed in my book. So yeah, what you want to do is head on down. Oh, is that that's not what we want to do? Or is it? Yeah, when it's like spring, you get so disoriented because it's like, um, oh god. Okay, yeah, because it's like, okay, I was so used to like, everything being like with snow, but I, there's no snow and I don't know which way to go. Um, so. Yeah, this ice down here has been replaced with water, so don't, don't, um, don't you dare go swimming into that water. And what, what happened to the, uh, Goron Elder that was in, down there in that, uh, Snow, because you know Gorons can't swim. He was in, stuck in that snow clump, and he was still there even when we un unfrozen from that thing. I mean, I, obviously the thing to assume is that he's dead. I mean, honestly, like that guy is like Gorons can't swim, and then, I mean, like he's just he's never seen again the rest of the game, mind you. Ugh, I don't even know. It's it's crazy. So over here we're gonna unlock a new little item in the game. I guess you can say unlock, if that's what you want to say. Oh yeah, you gotta be a Goron. I'm the Goron who sells powder kegs, okay. Yes, we'll give it a try. So what he's gonna do is drop a powder keg. These things are bombs, but they like, are extremely powerful. You can only hold one of them, Oops. and only the Goron can um, hold them. You want, but he kind of gave us a little challenge to uh, go blow up the Goron racetrack, like there's a, there's a boulder blocking it apparently, and we need to go blow that up. So uh, just do what I'm doing here, and you should be fine. We're now actually just going to take this up to the Goron racetrack. Do the same thing we did, but when we were holding the um, holding the, God, what was it? The uh, the little meat. We were bringing it to the uh, the Goron who needed it to get down. Just do that picture. It's like that. Only it's about to explode, basically. Um. So yeah, and we don't need to walk as further, as far, well, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. So take this thing down, and um, believe it or not, we can actually participate in the Goron Racetrack. It'll, we're probably just going to save that for next episode, but we can do that, so um, yeah. It's actually exciting, because that's a fun little area in the game, in my opinion. So the Goron Racetrack is located right up here, so throw your, throw your powder keg out powder keg, throw your powder keg up, do it again right here, throw it up, throw it up yet again, and look at it, look at that, it's a little baby here, gave us all that trouble, um, okay, dude, I'm trying to put this thing down next to the bomb, you're making it really hard on me, so, yeah, now we're just going to speed this up by blowing it up with an arrow. And yeah, oh my god, that animation is so funny, that baby going in, jeez man, okay. So we're actually going to do this little race thing in the next episode, so I'll see you guys then. This is, uh, you don't want to miss this, this is a cool little race, trust me, okay bye, see you guys then.